altcoin season may 2020 welcome back guys it's crypto rocker from rockstar trading channel in today's video guys i'll be sharing with you my thoughts on altcoins some of the indicators i look at bitcoin ethereum btc and altcoin charts to see whether we are going to get a push in altcoins so first of all you might be thinking why am i looking at bitcoin when it's an altcoin video well bitcoin is king whatever bitcoin do altcoin follows so it's really important to see what bitcoin is doing when you're trading altcoins so you'll see the previous altcoins videos i've made if bitcoin is going sideways like here altcoins do well when bitcoin breaks out when bitcoin breaks out we don't have any good altcoin trades when in a bitcoin has a crash again it's not good for altcoins so what are my thoughts on bitcoin so when bit when bitcoin is going crazy guys don't try and trade altcoin when bitcoin halving it was gonna go ahead bitcoin was going up i was trading bitcoin i wasn't trying to trade uh, altcoins and get those five ten percent gains when bitcoin itself was going up you know about 50 percent bitcoin went up so we need to be trading what makes us money and not just you know buy a coin because your friend said it's going to go up and you hold and when bitcoin is going up trade bitcoin i've been trading bitcoin we've been sharing in the group some of them been taking it on live trades how bitcoin is going up so it's really important to be looking at bitcoin and not uh, just altcoins and you can be making money trading bitcoin as well so what are my thoughts on bitcoin now uh, bitcoin is coming into the red zone i talked about uh, you can see it pull back to our moving averages pumped up it's at this for um, this red zone now if bitcoin can break above it guys um, i don't think it's gonna be that good for altcoins but if bitcoin pulls back in here i think altcoins will be go will have another push up altcoins have already pumped quite a few altcoins have had 20 30 percent gains hopefully you guys have caught it i've been tra i've been trading and and posting about some of them if you've been subscribed to my channel you probably saw the top five videos that i make every month they've been going really well matic i mean i'll talk about matic matic has been with matic news coming out I'm, i've made a video exactly when i was getting into matic and youtube i share the exact coins i'm trading the strategies and in the in our group i provide exactly what levels i'm looking to buy uh, where the stop loss is and and how i'm looking to trade it you can check it out if you're interested i'll talk about it at the end of the video uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i'm getting close to 10k guys so i'll be doing a big give away so make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel also turn on the notification button so you get notified when i'm doing live on youtube so guys so that's my thoughts on bitcoin if bitcoin pulls back here i think altcoins will have a big move up if bitcoin breaks out like i've showed you uh, in the group again uh, these are people say oh wh what's the proof that you're doing it that's the reason why i show what i'm doing in the group not just after the fact you can watch my videos for it i think bitcoin will have a push up into the 10,500 to the 11,000 level and i probably would rather be in bitcoin than trading little altcoins another coin that i look massively is ethereum and ethereum btc has been finding some support so when ethereum was breaking down like this it altcoins weren't going very well ethereum in this is in this zone altcoins have been getting a little push up so if ethereum keeps on doing like it moving like this i think altcoins will have another push up and if ethereum breaks out higher then altcoins will have even bigger move up and this could be a great month i mean i don't really care about altcoin season i make these videos because there are opportunities within a month for trading altcoins and there's always opportunities you get few opportunities a year where altcoins do great but every month there's at least one or two push-ups where we see altcoins going up whether there's news with any coin or coins breaking out volume coming in there's always some coins to trade one of the coins that's been on fire has been theta so i took a trade in theta last month this month i've actually missed this one again you can't catch it all i think someone in our group caught it uh, theta has been one that i missed out on one of the trades that has been great for me is been zilliqa zilliqa has been playing out perfectly uh, if you look on the daily chart zilliqa you know people say oh when they're gonna alt coins move trade coins that are going up don't hold you i mean it's gone up 100 uh, percent in less than two months so trade these coins and zilliqa has been a great coin and let me show you how we've actually traded it um 
and it's not just me a few other people uh, got in this trade as well and you can see the post I made exactly where I was looking to buy Zilliqa and I'd, I'd be uh, it'd be unfair for me to say I just bought it here at 76 the pullback into my Fibonacci zone uh, and I, I, I hold it for 50% I did and I sold it early but you can see how the trading works and if you're interested in learning out more about my strategy uh, I'll leave the links below and talk about it at the end of the video how you can check out our group so that was Zilliqa Zilliqa is going well and if like I said Bitcoin and ethereum does this i will be looking at zilliqa from a higher time frame it is still in an uptrend as long as we are in an uptrend on the hourly on the daily then i will be trading zilliqa i mean from a from my point of view i think as long as zilliqa don't break below the 100 level i think zilliqa could still have another little push up and you shouldn't really uh, looking look to just trade against the trend we've had a big breakout let's see if we can carry on higher the key thing for me would be if, uh, the ada chart if you look at ada guys ada had a break, big breakout it carried on higher but then it failed so that's the important thing could we have that high a higher low and carry on even if we don't there's a huge opportunity to make money in these 120 percent 100 200 percent pumps and if we do have an altcoin season great if not try to make money from these moves up even if you've got you know full-time job if you're, or you're new start learning somewhere you have to learn somewhere well whatever you want in life you have to work hard for for it enj was one that is still looking okay it's, it's consolidating now if enj breaks out i'll be looking to trade enj and this is a watch list that i've got uh, maybe you want to copy it and have it in your chart as well and see these coins that i have in my chart works really really well so let's talk about matic i'll briefly talk about matic because i've got special videos on matic and this is a a coin that I've been in for a while over two months ago I think if you watch the video as well this one was four weeks ago I made that video I was in Matic and I posted exact levels I was buying in the group and I was just holding it, it hadn't moved it hadn't moved and finally um, last week it had a big move up and it's been quite good I'm looking to take Matic off now guys because we look to be forming a top again we, we seem to be uh, struggling to break out higher so the way I would look to take trade Matic is um, you can move your stop loss up if you got in for me with profit you'll probably be about 20 percent profit if not guys um you can exit it now take all your money off and then if we break out back above 220 get back in again uh you know the, you don't only get one opportunity to buy that you can always get more opportunities to buy so again i'm not gonna i don't think i need to show you the uh, facebook posts of how i was trading it you can just watch these matic videos to see the reason why i was trading matic and it, the the if you watch the matic view video on their main net launch it's not going to happen in a day it's more about uh, over a few weeks it's happening so it's unlikely to be a buy the rumor sell the news event and we could get another push up they've got um, some someone posted in the group about some news on matic being listed on other coins uh, other exchanges i think binance us and a few other exchanges so you might want to look at matic for other exchanges that's being listed because it can get another pump up so keep an eye out for matic as well so i'm talking about some of the coins i'm looking to trade fetch and a celr had a breakout so I, i'll show you exactly how i was trading these two as well uh, unfortunately these two have pulled back uh, so it's going to be a really important zone now to see whether we have a push up or not so this was like you can see may the 15th the levels i was looking to buy i caught uh, fetch celr didn't give me an exact entry fetch was a perfect trade that we took uh, on the breakout above here it was a nice little trade and now it's coming into this zone so if fetch can hold this level i'll probably look to get back in again it is in that 50 uh, 50 percent 618 zone if it gets a push up here you can look to get back in fetch again i don't really like this sell-off because it's a sharp move down i like to see pullbacks like this then we have big moves up but if we have some green candle coming in in the four hourly next you know take that trade and have a stop loss below see if we can get a move up but you have to be quick in these trades celr is another one it's coming into this zone that i said if it breaks below this i don't like but again if you talk about celr it's had a big move up 70 percent move up so there's loads of opportunities to get in as well another coin that i'm in at the moment uh, is algo it's not looking great again i'm not just talking about all my 20 percent 50 percent moves up this is a coin that i'm in i think i'm 
much a loss now I bought it here it went up 8% but I was hoping for a bit more and I think I'm at about 2% loss if it breaks down below I'll look to exit but this was a high probable trade that I took but it, it hasn't worked out uh, uh, for me just yet there's other coins that are looking quite good uh, let me sh share with you some smaller coins uh, that are looking good as well so one of the coins that I personally uh, don't really trade as much because it's a smaller coin but one that I've been trading today has been data so let me show you data data is a coin that is in an uptrend I don't know too much about it so don't ask me uh, questions on it but it was it had a big move up and I took a couple of trades on data let me share with you exactly how I was trading it uh, this is how I was trading data this was the entry and it had a little nice little push up and the reason for entering data was we had a big push up it was a small wedge and look at the daily chart it's like a nice move up at the daily and I still think it's okay as long as we don't break below I'll say this support level at 700 I think data can have another push up if you like smaller coins someone in the group said this has got a news coming out a uh, mainnet launch so this would be another potential coin breaking out of a trend line keep hold of this keep an eye out for it and um, i personally would like a breakout where you see the trend line once it breaks out above that that's when i'll look to get in but this will be on our watch list and um, if the other any other coins there's so many coins we like to keep an eye out for band is another one that's looking okay what i tell the people in our group is try to look at one or two coins or three coins if you try and look at all of them you're not gonna you're gonna miss these trades and try to keep one or two and try to make money from them so these are the coins i think i said 10 but i think i've gone over more than 10 these are some of the coins i'm trading i've talked about larger coins and smaller coins hopefully it gives you guys an idea of the trade strategy that i use following a trend looking to buy pullbacks and hopefully you guys can make some money as well if you watch my top five videos for this month this has been really good some months we have great moves some month some months we don't have as much moves this month has been great so check it out and like i said if bitcoin does consolidate guys this could be a great opportunity uh, to be trading so you know whether you trade it by yourself or check our group out this could be a great opportunity i'll leave the links below so whatever you need we've got a course provided if you're interested we've got a trading group if you want to try us out first uh, for a month for less than 30 bucks see uh, what we do i'm sure you will enjoy it check us out for a month and if you enjoy it you can look to stay further so thank you very much uh, for watching the video guys and also in the group there's an introduction to our strategy as well so if you guys are interested you can check the uh, little course out the strategy guys master trading courses to get you up to speed if you are new so thank you very much for watching the video i hope you guys have enjoyed it all eyes are on bitcoin again what is bitcoin going to do here if bitcoin breaks up below i'll be looking to trade bitcoin if it consolidates and pulls back and you know doesn't have a breakdown below here i think altcoins will have another push up so thank you very much for watching guys comment below your thoughts on the video do you think bitcoin is going to be the big rise do you think altcoins are going to move comment below what your thoughts are and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much